what's up guys Tristan back again with another gameplay commentary today from the title above or below depending on where you guys are watching this we're gonna be talking about my experience as a small youtuber and this is just gonna be going into some things that I've noticed um, how to grow a little bit better and what I've been doing to how like the process or the you know mentality behind like growing whenever you have like almost nobody watching but at the same time I have a bunch of people watching like it's weird so when I say a bunch of people watching I consecutively hit a thousand views every single month from new viewers from my search results this that and the third and I'm gonna go into some detail about how I went about that so pretty much you want to have like good thumbnails like I have the black and white thumbnail PNGs that I made a long time ago um, why is it black and white uh, once again like I see those colors as being a portal to something higher like dimensional wise and conscious wise but in all actuality it's like symbolism for Saturn and Jupiter um, Saturn being the black and and Jupiter being the white uh, the red and the blue inside of my uh, channel banner that stands for Mars and Pluto so like transformation through that and transformation kind of through Mars but really that just symbolizes passion but that's some weird esoteric stuff in terms of that but I just wanted to share that but yeah like the thumbnails like just make them professional like if you want a high click-through rate if you want like new people to click on your videos just make them as best as you possibly can um this is from experience with my past channels but if you want Want more click through rate make your shit rainbow like straight up like my old thumbnails used to be red and blue and green and those shits got hella views just because those colors are like more bright more like in your face but I made a channel one time where I had like rainbow thumbnails and that shit got hella click through rate for some reason because it was like hella colorful like maybe more targeted at a younger audience but you know that shit's just weird to me like the little things can go like a super far amount away but I feel like the black and white for my symbology behind it and like just like the professionalism of it has gotten me this far so I'm gonna stick with it until my channel is like whatever like I don't even care like I think I'm gonna keep this forever but you know uh, that's just one tidbit about click through rate to get more views obviously SEO like I literally every video on my channel is search engine optimized and I kind of attribute that to being able to do whatever I want on this channel like and still grow um multiple times I felt like I should just niche down become a gameplay commentator purely and that's it but that wouldn't be who I truly am so I'm gonna stick with making the music I'm gonna stick with making the commentaries and playing my video games that I enjoy and it really has gotten me a bunch of viewers like literally just get something like vidIQ to buddy uh, there's probably multiple other third-party ones and just look up what you rank for in terms of what type of video you're making like literally the past fucking 11 videos on this channel that were commentaries have been greatly ranked greatly served search engine optimized like if you're not making search engine optimized content you won't be exposed to a new audience and one little tidbit about that is if your search engine optimization score is in like the yellow I would still go for it because sometimes even when it's weighted like I have the pro license so I can look at my weighted side of things like how it specifically fits for my channel if it's weighted and still yellow it could be unweighted and like hella green so like you could go for that either way I would just go for it anyways just to get some content out and even if you don't rank for it for life like a green one um the yellow ones still have potential because like the search competition is low as well so like that's just a little tidbit about that but you know just make search engine optimized content bro like and you will grow like there's no way you can like you get too many new viewers and plus if you're uploading every single day like i am it's just traffic upon traffic upon traffic and like for instance some of those people are like whoa i fuck with this kid like let's hit some subscribe like that's literally how you grow on YouTube like there's no other way besides like maybe niching down like I said so like you could literally just rule a niche like that's your shit like nobody can fuck with you in terms of that I think my niche is having no niche which is weird like once again I go back to like Aquarius like philosophical shit like our egos are egos made out of no ego like it's weird like I have an ego like I have a character that I play in this realm of reality but it's based off of not having an ego which is super weird like I get like hella like I don't get as much light because of that but at the same time it allows me to keep my mental state intact in terms of like my grind process but you know I digress but in terms of like getting an intro being more professional with that like the TRW spinning with the trap music like that's my shit bro like I went to like an old Call of Duty commentator intro designer and I wanted one that resembled like the old uh, phase logo remember like when their uh, phase intro would spin around and shit like that like that's 
that's what I told him. Like, it, it's just like my roots, you know? It could be way more better. It could be not as generic, but at the same time, it's like the three energy provided with the initials of my name in terms of the black and white symbology that I explained earlier. Like, it's just really specific to like what I am, like what I do. And I think it could easily be branded in the future if I really wanted to make clothing. But, you know, uh, as far as like perception and views on the TRW, like that'd be tight as fuck if I had that on a chain. But, you know, that's just me being on some ignorant rap shit. I want some baguettes. I want some diamonds. That shit would be tight. But, you know, I digress once again. As a small YouTuber, you really just want to get content out that you feel proud of. And pride could come from any source of content. But at the same time, like, I feel proud just getting a video out every single day. So, like, that's a really, like, I don't want to say low standard of pride. But at the same time, it's helped me tremendously. Like, I don't even know, like, what I would do or where I would be at if I wasn't uploading every single day. So, you know, this is just like my experience as a small YouTuber. I'm growing steadily and slowly with being in the three niches that I'm in. And, you know, if you want to take any inspiration or use any of the examples that I've given you to build your own channel, feel free to. Once again, two most popular tools I would give you is TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Like you could literally build a channel just breathing probably if you wanted to. Like if you got the tags and SEO right on like 10 hour breathing video, like you might actually get a million views because because it might go viral because people are like what the fuck gotta watch that like is he really just breathing for 10 hours straight on a video like you know shit's just crazy like that bro like you could literally do anything you guys want to put your mind to and feel free to do it and uh yeah yeah i'll see you guys in the next video feel free to like comment and subscribe see you in the next one peace <laughs>